Hey guys, welcome. Today we are going to talk about the most simplest layout, the constraint layout. So let's open the Android Studio. This is the previous project that I have created in my previous video. As you can see this loot layout is a constraint layout. You don't need to change it. The whole code related to the view and the layout. Keep that as it is. Click here in the design tab to open the visual studio editor. This editor is divided into three parts. From here we can drag and drop views to the layout. You have many options to choose from such as text, buttons, widgets, layouts. All can be drag and drop in the layout. You can also change the view of this layout by clicking this button such as design mode blueprint mode design and blueprint mode now let's drag a button to the layout you can see it has four handles there now if you go back to the text editor you can see the button, the code of this button is added to the layout automatically. Now you have to give this button the constraints. If you don't, when you run the app, this button will jump onto the top of this layout. So to add this constraint, to click this and drag it over there, you have to give four constraints to a view think about this constraints as a coil spring when you attach to a view it pull that view to the end now in the property panel there are two bias with this you can change the position of the view as much as you want By double clicking on the slider, set this value to the default. If you click the handle again, it will remove the constraint. You can also click here in the property panel to remove the constraint. Let me put back the constraints. Now let's track another view, it's a text view. I will constrain it with the button. To keep the view at the below of this button. You can also add margin to the view to keep it distance from the another view. Let me zoom it for you to understand more. You can only add constraints those site you are connected. If you remove the constraints from this view, this lay view will be jumped to the right of this layout. Adding constraints to the both side to keep this view center of the button. Now let's drag a another view. It's a button. And I will put constraints to the upper and the left side to make this button top left corner. Add margin to this view to make it more look beautiful. And drag a another button from the view. And I will place 
bottom right corner of the layout. Only adding opposite sides of the constant can make the bias work. If you add constant to the not opposite sides, the bias do not work. You also have to give an horizontal and a vertical constant to a view to make it stable or you will face this red error. Now let's discuss how the chain constraint work. Here I have three buttons in my layout. So select the all three buttons, right click on it and you will find the chain constraint. Here are two chain constraint, chain constraint horizontally and chain constraint vertically. I am gonna choose the create horizontal chain constraint. It will create a horizontal chain constant with three buttons. Now let's select three buttons and right click again on it. Here you can align the button with your requirement. I'm gonna align it with center position. The purpose of this chain is to separate the views differently and with equal distance between them that's the whole process and it will make the tasks very easy and simple